Is the new world order upon us? What, if anything, can Christians do to stop it? What is the new world order? Welcome back to Bible Bears, everyone. I'm Ryder Cullison. So what is the new world order and why do Christians believe in it? Well, in Revelation, there are verses that suggest that the beast, meaning the Antichrist, will be given dominion over all the nations and all the world will worship him suggesting that there is a one world government. That's what we're really talking about with a new world order. This is how Wikipedia defines the new world order. The new world order, according to Wikipedia, is a conspiracy theory where a secretive and powerful elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian world government. That's what Christians believe will eventually happen per revelation. There will be a one world government where, according to Christian beliefs, we will worship a beast, a political figure, an antichrist. Now, Wikipedia suggests this is a conspiracy theory, but is it? I mean, do the, the global elite, the rich and powerful, have an agenda? Before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you will be alerted when I post new videos. And if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up. Now let's get into this. Yes, the global elite, the rich and powerful do have an agenda. They meet every year at Davos in Switzerland for the World Economic Forum to discuss their globalist plans. And as mentioned, the 2021 theme for Davos will be the Great Reset. Here's Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau talking a little bit about the reset. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Trudeau is of the global elite. They, meaning the global elite, the rich and powerful, are going to use the pandemic and the fear surrounding it that they have fired up, that they have stoked, to usher in a new, new world order, per se. Klaus Schaub, the founder and chairman of the World Economic Forum said, every country from the US to China must participate and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. Prince Charles said, we have a golden opportunity to see something good from this crisis. Its unprecedented shockwaves may well make people more receptive to big visions of change. Now once COVID burns out, the fuel that they will use to power their compliance is global climate change. And if you don't join their initiative, you look like a huge jerk, right? I mean, who doesn't want to stop this pandemic and the billions of lives it's taking? Who doesn't want to stop climate change so that the world doesn't end in 10 years? What world leader isn't tired of wetting his pants over the global catastrophe that is raining down upon us. We're committed to conserving the majesty of God's creation and the natural beauty of our world. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. These alarmists always demand the same thing, absolute power to dominate, transform, and control every aspect of our lives. We will never let radical socialists destroy our economy, wreck our country. That was Trump and his big middle finger to the global elite at the World Economic Forum in Davos in January 2020. This is why they hate Trump. George Soros, who's a huge billionaire, if you opposed uh, this globalization of the world, if you oppose this new world order, George Soros is your Bond villain. He said the 2020 U.S. election will decide the fate of the whole world. This is why all these world leaders have rushed to congratulate Biden. They know Biden will be all in on this, all in on globalization and global trade, and he's going to rejoin the, the Paris Climate Accord. This is why they hate Trump. Now, I'm not saying joining this global initiative is bad. I'm not saying it's good. What I am saying is it's not conspiratorial. 
You can't bury your head in the sand and assume that the powers of be and prevailing wisdom will come in and put an end to this because the powers that be want this. The powers that be are working diligently together to shape the way you think. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all, all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 The new world order is coming. Can Christians stop the tide? Wise leaders always put the good of their own people and their own country first. The future does not belong to globalists. The future belongs to patriots. If you think Trump is the dam, then you are delaying the inevitable. If this is God's plan, then perhaps all we can really do is prepare. Guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments below. I love to hear from you. Is this inevitable? Can we do anything to stop this from occurring? Do you really think Trump is the savior here? Do you think this is this Davos and this World Economic Forum? Uh, Bill Gates with his vaccines and his nano tattoos and everything that's going on is conspiratorial? Or do you really think this is happening? Because this is really happening. A conspiracy would be to say that the virus was manufactured and unleashed upon the world intentionally to induce fear to encourage compliance with, with all of this. That's conspiracy. But the fact that these global elites have an agenda, the fact that there is going to be a great reset, the fact that there are uh, tattoos as part of vaccines, that's all fact. That's all fact. It's not conspiracy. So don't be afraid of, of revealing this truth to people. Let me know in your comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love you and have a blessed day.